What is up, Togs? It is day seven, uh, which means uh, we have done it. You did it! Congratulations! We did it. We have accomplished the seven day moto vlog challenge. Again, and we've done this every day, I think. Big shout out to Moto Carry for nominating me for this challenge. Now, normally at the end of this challenge, you would nominate three people or somebody to do the seven day moto vlog challenge. I don't wish to put that on anybody, so I'm not gonna nominate anybody. I'm breaking the cycle. This is like when you get those chain letters, right? Uh, they used to you used to get them in the mail, but uh, now they used to do it through uh, email, and I don't haven't seen them in in, in, in years, years and years. Uh, where they say, you know, this is a good fortune email, and blah blah blah. You need to forward this to three friends. Uh, and if you don't, you have bad luck. So if I'm gonna have bad luck for not nominating three people, I'm happy to take on that burden and to not have anyone else have to do the seven day challenge. Now, this isn't to say that I don't appreciate Moto Carry nominating me for this challenge, but it is a hard challenge. And I know a lot of the people that I know who Moto Vlog, uh, they don't get a video out uh, every week sometimes. So to do, ask them to do that seven days in a row, that is a lot to ask. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna break the cycle. I'm so sorry, Moto Carry, I hope you forgive me. Uh, but if there are those of you who are inspired by this seven day challenge that wish to take on the challenge themselves, then yes, I urge you to go ahead and do that. I know for a fact that a lot of the people who comment on my videos a lot of the time, those people are moto vloggers themselves. So if you want to take this challenge on, then by all means, do it. Nothing is impossible. All right, but guys, we are, as you can see in the distance here, approaching the Tower Bridge here in downtown Sacramento. So it's just a little treat. What I thought I'd do for you as a little treat on this seventh day of the challenge, I've talked a little bit about what every day means to people. But for me, especially during the school year, Saturday means dance day. Uh, now I teach hip hop on Saturdays uh, with the local theater community, theater and dance uh, education program uh, with the Woodland Opera House. Shout out to them. I don't believe they have a, a uh, YouTube channel, but they definitely have a Facebook page, which I will link in the description. But I've been teaching there for five years now. And we're coming to the end here of the fifth year. Actually, today is the showcase for my class, for one of my classes. For one of my classes, we've got a little Rayleigh Field action here on the left. Catching some Sacramento landmarks. Like I said, this is all for you guys. But Saturday is dance day for me. And I thought that I would take a little bit of time in this video to talk about what dance has meant to me in my life. Uh, I know I know a lot of you uh, are aware that I am an actor. Uh, I do community theater here in the area. And uh, so musical theater obviously entails a lot of, of singing and dancing. Uh, but dance has been a part of my life since the age of three. So my mom had this little Fisher Price uh, tape recorder. And I'm, if you probably remember them if you're anywhere near my age. Uh, maybe you had one, uh, maybe you wanted one, but never had one. And if you never had one, that's too bad because they're, they're amazing and they're so much fun. Uh, but I had one of those and my mom bought me the Thriller album at age three. So every day I would listen to my Thriller album. Uh, like just uh, the tape, the side A would end and I'd flip that thing over, put it on side B, and I would just listen to it over and over again. And every time one of my favorite dance songs would come on, Beat It or Thriller or Billie Jean, I would dance the crap out of that song at age three. That is when my passion for dance began. And like I said, a lot of you know that, uh, that I do theater and that I teach hip hop, but just a little bit of history as to where all that started. It started when I was three. Which, if you're counting, and you know that I just turned 40, that was 37 years ago. So I've been dancing for a long time. It's meant a lot in my life to me. But like I said, Saturday to me is dance day. It's the day uh, 
during the, the school year especially, where I teach dance, and I try to spread that love for uh, dancing uh, to, to other young people in my community, and to my kids especially. They've, they've taken my dance class ever since I started teaching it. And it's just been an amazing experience. So anyway, that is what Saturday's event to me over the last five years. And for the foreseeable future, will continue to be so. If Saturdays are mean something special to you, make sure you leave it in the comments. What is special to Saturday about you other than it being the weekend and you've got great plans and, and uh, maybe maybe there's something like uh, you guys take the boat out or maybe it's every every uh, Saturday you go out for a, a ride. Uh, maybe you go out for a ride with your wife. Maybe you go out for a ride with your friends. Maybe you just go out for a ride by yourself. But what is it about Saturday that makes it special to you? Make sure you leave it in the comments if you've got something that you'd like to share. But guys, that is all I've got for you this Saturday. I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate you if you have and you're a subscriber. I appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But this video specifically, if you liked it, make sure that you hit that like button down there, which is a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Come back and see me. Guys, if you were out there riding, be safe. What in the world is that? It's got two wheels and a motor. It's awesome. Guys, if you're out there riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. I'm that one guy, and I am out. <laughs>